It is 2026 and Windows had had so many updates. Now there's new tweaks to show you guys and I will show you throughout this video so you get maximum frames and zero delay. Let's get straight into it. And I have made this video jam packed for you guys. So make sure you watch till the end. And of course, please do leave a like and subscribe. Now the first tweak that you guys want to do, head over to the search bar. Now search advanced, view advanced system settings is gonna pop up. What we want to do is be on the advanced section right here, go onto performance, go onto settings. Now once we're on settings, and by the way, these tweaks are incredible for your PC. Simple yet so effective. What we want to do is go on to adjust for best performance firstly. Once you do that there should be nothing ticked. Then go on to custom. Once we're on custom these are the only ones that you want to tick. Show thumbnails instead of icons, show translucent, show window contents, smooth edges on font screens. Tick those four, that simple, press apply, press ok. Now your screen may look a tiny bit different. Trust me it's so worth it. Now there's less usage on your CPU and your GPU. Now what you want to do, head over to the search bar. This time we're going to search GPU graphic settings. Now this has been updated for 2026 so make sure you guys listen along right here. Firstly, optimization for Windows games. We definitely want this on. This is so good for your PC. Now advanced graphic settings, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now this is a very important setting. If you have a 50 series GPU you can have this on. If you have anything below a 50 series literally turn this off. This puts strain on your GPU and if your GPU cannot handle it obviously you're going to be bottlenecking, not getting the frames that you want so literally turn it off if you have anything below a 50 series so for me i have a 20 series gpu i have it off simple as that now we can move into our next tweak head over to the search bar this time we're going to search system configuration this is super important for your pc this is how to get zero delay on it now selective startup is what we want load system services load startup items tick those two press apply press ok now we can move over to the boot section right here timeout this is so important for your pc and it's different from pc to pc so make sure you guys listen up right here now if you have a very good pc what you want to do is one second so for example 40 series or a 50 series gpu now three second timeout for an average pc five second timeout for a very low end pc and if you guys are unsure by the way comment down below your gpu and your cpu and i'll reply to you guys as much as possible to let you know what timeout you should use but here is a ballpark so for me i have an average pc i can click onto three seconds now press apply press on okay what we want to do now go to advanced options number of processors please make sure this is ticked and make sure it's on the maximum amount you don't want let's say five out of your 16 processors to be working obviously this is common sense right here you want your pc to be working at maximum potential so make sure you press on 16 press on ok press on apply press on ok and again at the end of this video make sure you restart not now though now for our next week we're going to be getting zero ping in 2026 one thing that we're going to be using is a ping booster and of course i'll leave a free trial down in the description for you guys it's called gear up what this is it gets you the best path to the servers of any game that you are playing so for example fortnite right here if you're playing it normally let's say i load it up from here it tries automatically connecting you to the best servers most of the time this does not work that's why you're stuck on like 50 60 70 ping what gear up does it gets you the most optimal server path to the server region obviously you just press boost right here and genuinely i go from 80 90 ping all the way down to 0 to 10 so many pros are using it like miro asian jeff faxa t re the list goes on and on and on and obviously there's a free trial down in the description so if it doesn't work you have nothing to lose genuinely do give it a go though because it is that good now moving into our next windows zero ping tweak now that we have gear up what we can do is head over to the search bar this time search control panel just like so once we're on control panel remember this is for zero ping right here go on network and internet network and sharing center now there's going to be a hyperlink right here just like so if your ethernet's still completely fine make sure you do these tweaks now go on to properties firstly that we want to do is make sure our usage is not too high for our Wi-Fi which causes packet loss. So firstly we can untick Microsoft Network Adapter Multiplexer Protocol. We can untick that. We do not need that for our PC. Microsoft LLDP, untick that one. Now the two bottom link layers, you can also untick them. They're completely unnecessary for your PC. You literally don't need that. They're in the background using up your Wi-Fi. Again leading to packet loss. Now Internet Protocol version 4. What you want to do when you're here, go on to properties just like so. Now this is super important because this is by far the best pro settings that I can give you guys. Obtain an IP address automatically of course you want that one obtain a DNS server address automatically you do not want that you want to use the following DNS so literally tick onto this just like so preferred DNS server 1111 and if you're wondering Jinchi what on earth is that this is the cloud fair DNS server made for professional gamers that's why every single pro gamer is playing with a DNS server specifically this one right here so I really do recommend you guys watching this to also play this alternative DNS server 8888 
Once you do this, you can literally press OK. Now, for about 10 seconds, your Wi-Fi may try and restart. That's completely fine. Don't worry about it. Once we're done with that, press on OK. Now, what we want to do is go into Configure. Press on to Yes right here. I'll bring this in the middle. Go into Power Management. Now, this is so overlooked. And I know most of you guys are thinking, Jinchi, this isn't important whatsoever. Why are you even telling us? Make sure you untick this. This is because sometimes for literally 0.1 second, your PC may turn your Wi-Fi off for that 0.1 second. That will lead to packet loss and you don't even know about it. So make sure you untick this. Now, once we're done with that, go over to advanced wireless mode. Yours may look a little bit different to mine, but still do these exact settings. What we want to do is 802.11. You can now either pick AC or AX. Literally, those two are the best ones. As you can see, mine's all bundled up, but still I'm always connected to AC or AX. Genuinely, it is so good. AICTX, make sure that's disabled. HEMSC, make sure you're playing on 11. Receive buffers 256, transmit buffers 256, simple as that. Now we can press on OK, press on close right here. Now I'll show you a service that you do need to disable to make sure, again, your PC is not bottlenecking whatsoever. So right click on the bottom, go on to task manager, just like so. Once we're on task manager, go on to services, go on to open services, just like so. And by the way, just quickly, I do have a Discord server. If you guys want to join, talk about PC tweaks, literally I'll leave it down in the description for you guys. I have over 5,000 people in it, so make sure you do join up. Now, once we're on services, scroll down until we see the S column. What we're looking for is sys main right here. Description, maintains and improves system performance over time. Yes, this is completely true by the way. So if you're thinking, Jinji, why are we disabling it? This is because it makes our components go at 80% of its actual capacity. And obviously, if you're watching this video, you want your PC to go at 100%. So all you have to do is literally right click onto sys main, go onto properties, make sure the server status is stopped. If it's ongoing, literally press stop. Then we can go onto startup type and then disable it just like so. Press on apply, press on okay. This setting alone will make your PC literally on fire. It will make it so, so fast. Another service that we do need to disable, scroll all the way down until we see the Xbox services. There's four for me right here. Obviously, if you're using Xbox or anything, just like clipping stuff, by the way, please do not do that. Make sure you use GeForce Experience. But for some reason, if you're using Xbox, don't disable it. But again, if you're not using Xbox, just like me, many of you watching this video, go into properties, start a type, disable, just like so. Press on apply, press on OK. Simple as that, by the way. And of course, make sure to do this for all four right here. Now, talking about the Xbox, what we do want to do is head over to the search bar. Now we can search game mode settings. Go on to game mode settings. Once we're here, game mode, make sure this is off for your PC. This is not good whatsoever. Optimize your PC for play by turning things off in the background. Yes, it does do that. But again, it puts strain on your CPU and your GPU, which you just do not need. Literally turn it off and your PC will move so much better. Another thing that we do need to do, find a setting, literally search Xbox game bar right here. Again, like I said about Xbox, you do not want any of this on. Allow your controller to open game bar. Literally, even if you're not using controller, you do not want this on because you don't want to be using game bar. It is as simple as that. And of course, go on to captures, make sure captures off. Mine looks like this because captures is clearly off right here. Now, another setting that we do need to do, again, super important, is a quick NVIDIA setting. Go on to show more options. NVIDIA control panel, just like so. And please do remember to subscribe on this video and also like, by the way, whilst we're waiting for this. Now, once we're here, by the way, go on to adjust desktop size and position. Now, there's four settings right here. We do need to choose one of them. Again, this is for your monitor. The best one is no scaling. Second best is full screen. Third best is aspect ratio. And if you're thinking, Jinji, why doesn't everyone just use no scaling? That's because if some people play no scaling, you get black bars on the side of your screen, which you do not want, obviously. If that's the case, by the way, go on to full screen. The black bars should be gone. Of course, if there's still black bars, go on to aspect ratio and they will definitely be gone. Most of us watching this though can play on no scaling. Now, as for perform scaling on GPU or display, you don't want the strain to be on your GPU. You want it to be on your display, just like so. Now, override the scaling mode set by games and programs. Obviously, you want this on. Let's say, for example, I load up Fortnite and I have this unticked. It can put me on integrated scaling, leading to high delay and low FPS. Obviously, you want to override it, just like so. Now, resolution 1920 by 1080 refresh rate, make sure it's the highest one. Press apply, press on OK, and that is the end of this video. Please do remember to subscribe and leave a like. It means so much to me.